What a cool little Roadrunner. Looks like the body of it is uh, made with uh, old tennis shoes. Uh, there I see some computer parts. Uh, looks like a headlight up there. Something that says Samsung right there. A crutch. Got a bird hanging out on the bird. Anyways, good morning from Las Cruces. <laughs> this is where I made it last night. Had a very good night's rest over at this uh, very lovely rest stop on the side of the road. This is the uh, eastbound side. And uh, yeah, just looking out over Las Cruces, I just makes me wonder how far I will get today. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go pick up Claire Bear in a couple days. So basically, I have about, I would say, shoot, I don't know, 700 miles, 600 miles. So I gotta go uh, stock up this morning. So let's do that. Let's go do that first. I got this new uh, peanut butter powder too. I'm excited to actually uh, to use that for the first time. And swung by for a little haircut. And um, what I'm gonna do is look on Gas Buddy for the next cheapest place to fill up. That's uh, kind of what I do when I'm on these longer drives is uh, plan my stops around cheap fuel. It's better to plan for cheap fuel than get stuck somewhere and have to pay way too much money but if that ever does happen here's a good tip is to just fill enough up to, to get to the next spot where there's you know cheaper fuel especially on long road trips uh, you don't need to fill up 55 gallons 30 gallons at you know a dollar over uh, the cheapest price just put enough to get into the next spot Richard Bush, thank you very much. I just, <laughs> I saw it in my email inbox, and I think it was from the other day. I just want to let you guys know that it does really, um, you know, touch my, my heart and my soul that random strangers are jumping on the, the on board here and, and donating to the cause. So, uh, thank you all in advance. I really do appreciate it. You know, I just figured out who you are. <laughs> You're Corona Rich! <laughs> so thanks, man. It was good hanging out at the RTR. Um, fantastic meeting, meeting you. Thanks again for the book. And um, yeah, hope to see you again on the road somewhere. I just left her uh, a price. I just reported the price on uh, Gas Buddy, 269. It was claiming to be 239. This is an example of what can happen once in a while. You get some shady, lying, bullshit gas station owner, and they report incorrect prices on Gas Buddy, which gets people like me and other people to stop by thinking that they're going to get a deal. There's even truckers over here fueling up. Um, so it happens once in a while. You got to watch out. So basically all you got to do is just go back and then just kind of zoom out, which it doesn't make sense either, right? All the other prices in the neighborhood are 269. There's really no reason to lie because they, even at 269, it's a pretty, I don't want to say a good price, but a pretty low price. So you just zoom out, search this area, See if there's anything cheaper going on here. And it looks like 310. Let's go a little bit further west because I still got about 150 miles in the tank. 265. 
So definitely not going to shop here because they're just shady uh, human beings. So let's see if there is a competitor close by. Uh, looks like there's something around the corner for 265. So I'm going to go to this place here, Murphy, and uh, fill up and continue heading east. But just a heads up, I wanted to warn you about Gas Buddy because it's user submitted. It's not accurate and people do take advantage of the system occasionally. Occasionally, it's a very rare instance, but when it does happen, make sure to leave a negative review like I did, because that's that's just not right. This could be super petty, but I just reported that uh, previous Valero at four bucks a gallon. Just to mess with them, they mess with me. A little, a little bit of their own medicine. So <laughs> add that to my advice. If you find some place that's drastically wrong and the reviews say that are lying, just mess with them. Put it, put it a dollar more. And, uh, you know, I think it's fair. to like these Texas picnic areas. Although, I haven't really seen anybody taking a picnic over here. <laughs> Just been parked up for a few hours, uh, enjoying this uh, awesome, awesome sunset right now. I'm gonna take some pictures of Danny Vendrabus, throw it on the, throw it on the gram. Anyways, we got uh, a West Texas icon over here, the uh, oil rig, or I forget, somebody told me what they were called. Rig, well, something like that. Anyways, we got more driving. Today's not all that exciting vlog-wise. I've just been driving and driving and driving since this morning. Well, besides my haircut. That was probably the most exciting thing today. shorts it is in the 30s also I'm eating peanut butter for dinner it's sticking to the roof of my mouth <laughs> um, no, basically it was just kind of a drive today and um, tomorrow hopefully I'll pick up Claire Bear so everybody who's been asking for Claire Bear's return will have a pleasant surprise Assuming that the roads will be drivable tomorrow, I guess there was some kind of snowstorm, ice storm that came through, and the, I had to pull over because the roads were, you know, a little moist, and I couldn't tell how cold it was outside. It was freezing, though. Well, not technically like 32. Like, it was, I was freezing my butt off. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.